I am delighted and honored to welcome you to the 2024 Horasis India meeting in this beautiful city in Athens here in Greece. It's our 16th edition of the Horasis India meeting, ladies and gentlemen, and we are so glad to be here in Greece because I have to tell you, Greece is very good news and India is good news. Let me start with India. India is the new engine of globalization. India is reaching out to the world and India is investing in the world. Likewise, Greece is one of the fastest growing economies in Europe and the two prime ministers met twice in the last 12 months, signing a strategic partnership between both countries. I'm here with my dear friends, um, Angelos uh, Tsvadaris, who is the president of the Hellenic India Chamber of Commerce. Please join me, Angelos. And also with uh, Georgia Korokaki, who is a special advisor to the Hellenic India Chamber of Commerce. They have made, made all here happen, and uh, we are co-hosting this event together. I would also like to call on our Indian partners to join us on the stage, Ms. Bretaredi, the vice chairperson of Apollo, Apollo Hospitals and the past president of IMA. Peter, please join us on the stage. Uh, Rajiv Kohl, the chairman of NICO, past president of CI. Uh, Vinod Kumar Wuto, the president of the India SME Forum. Please join us, Vinod. And uh, Vidutoma Sharma, who is um, leading a delegation of female entrepreneurs um, here to Athens. Please join us on the stage. And uh, before I give the word to you, Angelos and uh, Georgia, I would like to thank our two main partners of this event, to Eurobank, to be the strategic partner, and to um, WeSquare, um, uh, running several panels here at the summit. So thanks so much to our sponsors and our partners. And um, I will also call uh, in a minute um, on uh, George Papagnonopoulos, who is the Chief of Directorate of the Ministry of Development, uh, who will also deliver a special address to us. Uh, George, uh, would you like to chair? Please come to the stage. But first of all, um, Angelos, to you. Thank you very much. I will tell you a little bit, because we have many Hellenes and Patriots. Κυρίες και κύριοι αξιότιμοι συμμετέχοντες, σας καλωσορίζω στο συνέδριο που συνδιοργανώνει το Ελληνοειδικό Επιμελητήριο με το Διεθνώς Αναργωνισμένο Οργανισμό Όραση και τον κύριο Φρανκ και να σας πω ότι ο σκοπός του συνεδρίου αυτός είναι να συνδράμουμε στην ενίσχυση των σχέσεων μεταξύ Ελλάδος και Ινδίας σε ένα ευρύ φάσμα τομέων μέσω της ανάληψης των σχετικών δράσεων και πρωτοβουλειών. Θέλω να σας ευχαριστήσω για την παρουσία σας και τη συμβολή σα στην επιτυχή διοργάνωση του συνεδρίου. Καλό ξεκίνημα να έχουμε και καλή επιτυχία. Ευχαριστώ για όλου. I would like to welcome everybody to this special meeting. It is my great privilege to extend a warm welcome to everyone attending the Oracle's meeting at Anthes 2024. This event marks a pivotal moment in the deepening relationships between Greece and India, bringing together leaders from business, government, and industry to foster new opportunities in innovation and collaboration. Under the visionary leadership uh, of the Greek Indian Chamber, we continue to strengthen ties across a broad spectrum of sectors, from trade to digital transformation. Your dedication to building sustainable and mutually beneficial partnerships stands as an example of how nations can work together to create lasting economic impact and share prosperity. As we embark on these important discussions, I'm confident that the partnerships and ideas forged here will accelerate growth, innovation, and development for both our countries. We look forward to continuing this journey together with enthusiasm and optimism for the future. Thank you for your leadership, and thank you to all participants for joining us in this critical endeavor. May this meeting be a great success. Thank you so much, uh, George. Here. Now, uh, George, would you like to uh, make a special welcome on behalf of the Greek government? Of course, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. President, uh, distinguished guests, 
It is both an honor and a pleasure uh, to be here with you, representing the Minister of Development, Mr. Takis Theodorikakos, delivering his speech here as he is unable, unfortunately, to be with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I would very much like to be present at your event today. This important initiative to strengthen the relations between Greece and India, but my obligations at the Ministry of Development, following the announcements made by the Prime Minister at the Thessaloniki International Affair, keep me away from you. However, I would like to share some thoughts with you. In a world that is undergoing constant change, with our planet firmly entering the era of climate crisis, and an international system in turmoil with wars and conflicts, humanity is constantly faced with new challenges. Challenges that call for and require international cooperation. Greece and India are two democratic countries, the oldest and the largest. With all the strength of my mind and soul, I believe that we must not allow authoritarian, authoritarian and populist regimes to define our future. The responsibility for decision-making and response belongs to democracy, because democracy is the only system that can guarantee freedom, respect for individual and collective rights, solidarity, the continuous pursuit of prosperity and progress, green and sustainable development, environmental protection, and social cohesion. And India is proof that democracy can function and be effective at every size and in every era, from the city-state of ancient Athens, with its few thousand citizens, to your great country of 1 billion 400 million people. The relations between Greece and India have entered a new trajectory following the recent visits exchanged by our leaders, the first after many years. Greece and India are enhancing their bilateral relations while also creatively participating in multilateral processes and international forums to solve contemporary problems. The joint declaration foresees strategic cooperation between the two countries in security and defense, investments, trade, science, technology, cyberspace, education, culture, tourism, and agriculture. Greece and India, we can and must be part of the solution as we share and work for the great universal values with peace being the foremost for a world without wars, displaced people, and individuals at risk. For a world that can meet the challenge of proper management of natural resources, fair distribution ensuring food and water, as well as equal opportunities for development and progress. The prospects are positive. The India Middle East Europe Corridor, the IMEC project, which was initiated by India during its G20 presidency, passes through the point where you are today. Greece stands at the crossroads of the West and East, North and South. We are the gateway to Europe. We have the ports, the logistics infrastructure, and of course, the Greek shipping industry. And we want to collaborate with you in all sectors, including high technology and artificial intelligence, where your great country has truly achieved wonders, along with the exchange of expertise and workforce. In 2025, we will be counting 75 years of diplomatic relations, another opportunity to deepen our connection for a milestone that we will all remember, because we have much to do together. As Ursula von der Leyen has stated regarding the European Union, Strengthening and enhancing the partnership with India is a priority for the coming decade. Our Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis has said that the strengthening of our partnership with India should be a cornerstone of Europe's foreign policy. So, let us move forward. Let us move forward together, because the relationship between Greece and India is not just a diplomatic endeavor. It is a celebration of our shared humanity. Together, we can build a brighter future for our people and contribute positively to the global community. I'm looking forward to carefully studying the conclusions and announcements of your conference. My best wishes for a very constructive and successful event. Thank you very much. And as we said, celebrating shared humanity and the future, I think Greece and India are ready to join hands. But now, before we go to the virtual written cutting, and many of you who have been to Horasis before, you know what it will be, I would like to call our Indian partners to come to the stage, to the forefront. Maybe let's say a few words of welcome. Maybe all four of you, um, 
Rajiv, would you like to start and then come? Thanks, Frank, and uh, hello, everyone. It's great to be amongst all of you, uh, many who are dear old friends and many who are going to be friends over the next two days. And when we end up, hopefully, there'll be, thanks to Frank and Horace's, uh, many new joint partnerships, many new friendships, and many new avenues for cultural exchange, tourism exchange. Frank, I think this is your 16th meeting on India, and we are so delighted that you have done it in Athens. It, it's really wonderful, and I, I must thank all the people from Greece, the partners uh, for Horaces to enable this. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of all Indians, we are delighted to be here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Please join. I hope the device doesn't pay for my lack of height. Hi, everyone. Um, I bring the greetings of Indians to you all. Uh, those who are here are certainly there to greet you, but those who aren't also, we share a lovely relationship, Greece and India. And um, Frank is one of the glues who has been um, blending the Indian, uh, Indian ecosystem and various countries of the world. So thank you, Frank, for your lovely leadership and initiative. And I look forward to these two days in bringing both the countries together a lot more. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Rita. Thank you, Frank, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been exciting and quite a journey. Thank you for bringing India to the rest of the world. And as Indians, we're a country which, uh, in a way, is young because uh, the economy is growing very well and the, the walls of diversity have actually been broken down on many fronts. Uh, we're looking forward to a, a great interaction with our friends in Greece because the culture, the traditions, and maybe even the DNA might bind us together. And there are lots of commonalities. Uh, the problems of the globe are many. But if we can find solutions in meetings like this, I think the world would be a better place for our future generations. Thank you for the invitation. Thanks so much, Peter. Vinod. Thank you very much, Frank. Hi, uh, my name is Vinod Kumar. I come to you from the land of uh, over 60 million small and medium enterprises. And I know Greece also has almost 99% of its enterprises are small, medium, and basically in, this, in their size. Well, I only say one thing, you know, uh, right at the start of this entire conversation between India and Greece, we've had a very, very long shared uh, cultural lineage. You know, we have the Holy Trinity in India, which is called uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, and you guys have the Holy Trinity again in Greece. Now, all of you can Google the rest. I mean, I don't have to go, go into all the depths of this, but I know I understand one thing, that we have a very, very shared, I mean, very um, warm, shared mythological, um, I'd say, beginning, start, or heritage. And it's now incumbent on us to take it forward and make it a glorious future together. Thank you. Thanks so much, uh, Vinod. I would also like to invite our two sponsors to join us on the stage. Please join. Uh, hello to everybody. I would like especially to, to welcome uh, all of you that have traveled all the way from India to Greece. Um, these are uh, meetings between uh, Greek and Indian business people that uh, are becoming now on a more regular basis, and, and I think they form uh, the base for further development of the business relationships between um, Greece and India. I think the visit of your Prime Minister, Mr. Mondi, in, uh, in Athens in October of 2023 and the follow-up visit of uh, our Prime Minister to New Delhi in February of 2024, show that there is um, the will and the wish 
on the political stage for this relationship to, to grow further. And I think events like uh, the one that we have today and tomorrow also are going to help in this direction. So, Frank, thank you very much for organizing everything. Thanks so much. Please uh, stay with us, because now we're doing the virtual ribbon cutting. Let me please just come to the front, and we have a nice photo as well. So the way to do is just imagine there's a ribbon, and uh, I think we just have to cut the ribbon, right? Uh, yes. So I would say uh, one, two, three, and then we know when we approach the three, we just cut the ribbon. Okay. So we say uh, one, two. Three, and please cut. <laughs> Four, and this is the open The heart is intervening. Thanks so much for everybody, our friends from Greece and from India. Many thanks to uh, Francis, to Georgia, and to Demetrius for your great support. And now um, it's working time. We're going to start our sessions just outside at 2 o'clock. And please enjoy the summit. Thank you.